What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy Homo Ziggy. We back here with another four piece reaction for y'all. And y'all already know we just gonna go straight into it. And got we ain't trying to make it no long intro or anything. We got Breton, we got Delta D's, we got Mir, and we got Nikki tracks here. So we're gonna start this first one off with Soul Eater Rap AMV Soul Menace 3. With Breton Boy, Drip Stick, and Shinro Beat. So, we about to check this first one out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, without further ado, let's get in the video. We got Luke. You just gonna hit him with a you gonna hit hey and you know Britain from England the UK and such shout out to the UK up there and such hey y'all already know with UK especially England y'all already know with them freaking anytime when a rapper come is gonna rap you know one way or another they're either gonna talk about anything that's UK and mostly sock but it's gonna be mostly like anything soccer related kick it like Ronaldinho come on now <laughs> This me, my girl, drag it to me. The way, look, with Breton Boy, let's face it. Breton Boy, right now, by the time of this, because I ain't saying for period and such, but at the time of this, right? Breton Boy, right now, is on the top of his game, right now. Like, for the better part of two years and such, right? Two and a, or basically at the start of his Nerdcore career. What can I say for me personally? When it comes to different styles, different, it's like this with Breeding Boy automatically. With because let's face it, a lot of times in the nerdcore, you can see that most rapping voice and such, they kind of sounds the same. I ain't gonna lie to you. But with Breeding and such, but rappers like Breeding, once they start, once you get, once you know their voice. You know, somewhere or another, they always come with something fresh and new. Just saying. Mm. You rappers pay loads. I'm in the payload. Mm. Nice little wordplay, but it's a flexing one. You hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, nah, nah. We gonna back to it. We gonna go back. Cause I'm... She act like she says, so. and the way how he's doing freaking wordplay right there. That wordplay rhyme scheme right there. She like she act like she say so. Yet do what I say so. I'm being an a hole, but she let me in a hole. Yo, boy, boy. <laughs> you rapper, you rapper is pay. Hold on, sorry. I don't care. I want to appreciate this rhymes, this wordplay rhyme scheme. Yo, you rappers pay loads. I just get the payload. Come on. Mm. Yeah, I 
Just don't care about you and your problems Stick out of sight like it's Maki You motherfucking step to the menace My man will go off Ripping the trend of little topic Got to go Ripstick Come on now Come on man, come on now, come on now Don't be missing with me, come on now Been a trend of topic, I tell him go talk to your favorite Don't stick that I plot I see him switching as soon as I walk in Yup, the side and water, caught a wash him Lose the snake and in the way you talk And the flow is crawling back up by a monster Loop full of warriors, we terracotta Loop full of warriors, hey shout out to Loop man It's like this, I like that I'm always gonna like that type of flow with it. It sounds like it's a conviction in that voice. No matter who's it doing, no matter what rapper is doing it, that flow right there is always gonna like stick to me. Where it's that, where it is like you're motivated or something who won't tell him not me i ain't gonna tell him that y'all miss hey shout out to britain and dripstick man make sure y'all go subscribe to dripstick man cause Hold on, hold on. We got now Delta. Finally, now to be honest, first of all, shout out to Otaku Underworld. Now got to represent it because, second of all, to be honest, it's been a. I was gonna wonder, like, like yeah, I get it. He puts in like the song and all, but for me. Hey, don't get it twisted. I still listen to, like, if it's an original or so. Don't you know, ever get it twisted. I always want to listen to those. But I was wondering when he's going to come to, a, like, a nerdcore song now. When are you going to come back to it? Because, trust me, I feel like he turns the sauce level up more when he's doing, like, a nerd, like, a anime, anime, anime based song, so. We got a Natsuna rap, someone new, Delta D's call up the night. Let's get it. And plus he got some, and plus he's on DPS's new tracks that's coming out the 17th, which is tomorrow. Or by the time y'all see this, it's like this. By the time y'all seeing this, it's 11.20 p.m. September 16th. So tomorrow. That's going to drop, so, hey, rest assured, when I, I'm going, boy, DPS, Delta D's, ah, uh, nah, nah, trust me, with the way how they've been promoting it, man, I can't wait, but you know, let's get to this, okay. Oh yeah, so now, now I know what this shit, that anime is, the f it, and the reason why I know it is because from Young Light's song or so that I reacted to, it's based upon this, probably was Young Light, can't remember, but I probably, but I do remember this anime, I haven't watched it yet, but from the song that I reacted to, I think, 
and it, it probably was young light and it had this the fact that there is the fact that this this nigga right here right keeps on letting this girl this vampire biting him bite boy anime or not nigga the minute you already bite me my blood is gone you can't get no more from me but yet somehow it's like this nigga it's an it's like infinity where no matter how many times this girl goes bite him and suck his blood, he gonna come back for more. Like what the fuck? He can show you how to love. How to love. Hmm. And the thing with Delta D is what I love. One, it's like this. Lately in search, right? I gotta say this. From the start of this year, from rappers who you know are like, it's their, their year, I would say it's Game Boy Jones, Peso Pete, Slick. Breaking boy, to be honest, Ham and Delta D's. Kellen B, I would say you, but like, with due respect, I would say you, but hear me out. I just got, I just got started to you like from month ago and such. Month, two and a half month ago, you would say, right? So I wouldn't say you yet, not yet. So maybe, maybe within the next months, maybe you continue on, and then I would say so. But for the other ones I've been saying, yeah, lately it's been their year so far. Cause let's face it, cause normally, and like don't get me wrong, the impact like with Rustage, Daddy Fat Snaps, Fable, Divide, them five, right? You know, them, them five. Like them five are always gonna come through, right? Always gonna be like the top. And Schwabity too, look. Let me not display Schwabity too. But I'm just saying, right? Lately this year, you've seen the ones, like I said, like Slig, Delta and such, especially Otaku Underworld. You've seen them popping out of late. Like I loved it in me I'm five I love back whatever they try to take away you was my saving grace I gave you everything but I can tell by your stories you want that and say God and a fear that's why you're not here cars getting blocked because it's time to heal. 
Shout out to Delta man. Keep on doing what you're doing. Now we got Rap Rap Voices with Nikki Tracks featuring Zach B and the Kevin Bennett. Man, it and man, Zach, you need to start. The last song that we heard from Zach was like the freaking what was it? Potential or so. I'm just saying, Zach, you need to start keep on dropping more, man. Or has he? No, I don't think so. But either way, let's get it. Apex Legends rap. Also, shout out to you, Nikki, for following me on Instagram, bro. Bro, <laughs> shout out to you to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Make sure y'all go follow him too. Allow me to introduce you to the mind of a psychopath. A couple screws loose, I get excited when your vitals flat. Line, I read between them, then I get to squeezing. I just need a reason, then I end up breathing. Voices speaking, I just need some peace, so please just leave them. Forces creeping, I don't think that I could ever beat them. So I just join them, it seems I could use some sort of treatment. I can't afford it, guess that means I probably gotta keep them. Yeah. So instead, I'll just listen to the voices in my head and what they said. You can't judge me like I'm dread. Blood clot him, now he's dead. Red dot him with the lead. It's a problem if I fled. All these voices talking way too much inside my head. Which one of these voices do I listen to instead? But all of them keep telling me to shoot somebody dead. So what's your favorite color? Because mine is roses red. You want to shoot with me? I'm going to shoot you. Hold up, hold up. Whoever that was on the chorus, that had to be the Kevin Bennett, because that does not sound like Nikki. And speaking of Nikki, Nikki, I want to say this, bro. You have like that battle rapper type vibe. Battle rappers, and then mixing it with a mainstream like type vibe. Because with your voice and the way how you spit your bars, it don't sound like how mostly how like a DPS or a Rustage or a Fable or a Divide and such. It don't sound like it at all and it's different. That's the, and that's to me most of the time that no matter what music I listen to, right? I like it when it's different where it doesn't have like, it doesn't fit in a certain person's Say like, oh, he sounds a lot more like, uh, more than, uh, where you like where it says that it just sounds like them and such. Like, why would you want to, it's basically like saying this, why would you want to be the second version of somebody when you can be your own version? So that's the way I think. I'm going to shoot you out. going to shoot you out. I'm gonna show you just what I'm talking about. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. If I hit you once, you gon' hit the ground. Hit the ground. But why do these voices always gotta get so loud? It's hurting my head. Yeah. They talking to me. 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 You can talk all you want, but you is not walking through me. Not walking through me. They talking to me. They talking to me. They talking to me. Heart is hollow and it's full of spite. It isn't fair that I was an experiment. You can start to think what that is like. Talking like you fuck. Oh, hey. I know. I know. God bless in well, that ain't Zach. Hold up. Zach coming in with a whisper. This man whispering to me. Nigga, you ain't finna just whisper to me and think you. When have I ever heard Zach whisper on a beat like this? It is fair that I was an experiment. You can start to think what that is like. Talking like you fucking know my life. Do what's needed, not for what is right. As much as I would love to see it, you should probably lean a bit because you're in their sights. Look, pain and death whenever one to face me. When I walk a line and see it daily, take a breath. Now many here amaze me. When compared to this, a different kind of crazy. Had the slightest feeling you were some shady. I'ma beat them all, try as if they hate me. I'm my own pace. Come on. Let's and and one thing with Zach, his voice. He has that voice like. Where you always gonna hear like, put it over any type of beat, and he'll smooth on it like crazy. But with this specific beat right here, 
matches his tone with the vo matches his type of rapping style with and with his voice. Yeah, definitely. Cause we know how Zach is whenever he raps. When he raps, it's more of, much more of. It's not like telling wise and such. It's more of like building building up like a story. So with Zach and especially on this beat, definitely fits him. And you just go and one thing with Zach though because normally we always know his type of flow on a song and such but sometimes it will always surprise you when you see he tries to add in new different types of little little pockets or so like little elements of flow switches and such like right <laughs> Yeah, truth is I don't have too much to lose. I was tested within every lesson, and for what it's worth, it's not for me to prove. I'm out here just trying to pay my dues. Get the loot and then we'll make it through. Feel the pain, don't need a clue, and so I'm telling you, there's a truth. All these voices talking way too much inside my head. Which one of these voices do I listen to instead? But all of you keep telling me to shoot somebody dead. But what's your favorite color? Because mine is rose red. Let's get blood. You wanna shoot with me? I'm gonna shoot you out. I'm gonna shoot you out. Gonna show you just what I'm talking about. Gonna show you what I'm talking about. If I hit you once, you gonna hit the ground. But why do these voices always gotta get so loud? It's hurting my head. They talking to me. They talking to me. And I gotta say with the Kevin Bennett, right? I look, it's like this, right? Like I said earlier when I said shout out to Nikki Tracks for following me on Instagram, right? I just looking through his page, right? Just looking. And I see Nikki and the Kevin Bennett. God god damn, I don't care if it's a picture or not. That, the fact that, that when I saw Nikki and then I saw how B. Kevin Bennett looked, that nigga tall as shit. <laughs> Kevin Bennett, if B. Kevin Bennett, if you're watching this, I want to know. Because I know you're, because you wrestling, right? you probably wrestling right now. So I want to know as a wrestling fan, how tall are you? Because in that picture, you probably look like you're at least six foot. Six foot one, six foot two. At least. Cause god damn you look you look tall as shit in that picture with you and Nikki. And plus I wanna know if any what championship you holding right now. It don't matter. I wanna cause to be honest. B. Kevin Bennett, I, like I said, I didn't know this nigga was a wrestler. Like, what? The fact that you were, the fact that there's a nerdcore artist. You got an artist in nerdcore who also does freaking wrestling. Bro. If that don't like, if that don't say I like you more, I don't know what does, man. What the hell? And you know, and you know what I wanted. To know? And you also, you know what I know. You, you probably if your theme song. It's probably you made that made your own theme song, right? It has to. I mean, duh. It would be. Look, with all due respect, if you need to tell me that when you, if I hear your theme song and it's not you on it, boy, I'm going to say who the freak story or talk. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I don't want y'all like that. How rude of me. So, one thing I, I don't ever want to feel like that. Bad me. So, ever yawn when you see Nikki. Kevin and Zach on this.
bad, bad me. Anyway, <laughs> sorry y'all. And now for the last one or so, let's see, let me look at my list. Last one, yep, the last one now is gonna be an Ichidori and, and Gojo two hours with Mayor Blackwell and featuring Professor Karo. Let's go. This is the ragged headship. You already know what's about to happen. It's me and the professor. We're taking niggas to class. Look. Mm. Girl, I'm gonna every single year. I'm gonna make it out. Grab mm. Every blanket shade, there still be snakes around. Nah, mm. in his mouth. Now we all see what he's thinking about. These bars in my head, the only thing I ever think about. Bars in my face, the only thing that I'll be breaking down. Hey. Fill my niggas up to we the only sand in the ground. Go. Professor Carroll, hear me out when I say this. Right? Hear me out when I say this, and I know you're going to see this. I damn well know you're probably going to see this. In all my time of watching you, or hearing your music, or just watching your reactions in general, right? On your channel. And I'm going to say this loud as I can. I have never heard you said nigga before <laughs> cuz i know cuz it's like this i know damn well you are like the way how you are right not to sound get into a race and, well fuck it i'm gonna go there i don't care nigga you don't the fact that you look so light skinned nigga you're almost at like dps's level cuz we all know dps is like light skin but that mother sucker look yellow more than light skin more forget carmel that nigga yellow <laughs> with all due respect to dps all it's all look little at the end of the day if i'm going to see y'all it's it's all with love but i'm just saying daddy fat snaps your face look yellow as hell and you know how yellow it is shit it, it's almost as as yellow as my shirt <laughs> And my shirt is like, oh, it well, big fats from this light and such. It may not show where they are, but look, but look, my shirt is dark yellow. Daddy fats nuts almost matches this color, sort of, but he is still nigga. But Professor Crow is the fact that I even hear you say nigga crazy to me. What's in the shit? The only way we're finna make it out. Changing the lyrics until the fix can't even make a sound. Versus stay allowed, cause the shit is always laced with green mm. from the money. I be counting from my day shift. On mm. my own business, so you really cannot say shit. Under mm. 25 and rush more where the face is. Thick mm. shorty got an ass right where my face is. No, I'm going in, probably give myself a facelift. Give hey. okay, myself a facelift. Mm. Y'all coming with freaky. Right where my face is. No, I'm going in. Probably give myself a facelift. Love the low end. You just think I was a bassist. Never mm. stay in place. I don't know what is complacent. Who the fuck this fly? Must be I touch cream. And the reason what they butt squeeze. I'm in the front seat. Rappers really dummies. Why? Cause he think he be in me. Then he must be high. Leave him in the loop. Bit that nigga try scoping me. So many rounds given out. It's like an Oprah saying shorty on. You get around. You. And it's like this with Mir. This nigga got punched like I'm telling you, with Mir, he might f he might fuck around and just come. I I wish one of these days if he puts out a song, anime based or not, right? If he puts out a song and that bitch only has just like if that whole entire song, whether he has a feature or it's just him by himself, if he gonna go on that song and just straight up punching, and punching, and punching. Nigga, you gon' let's just say you gonna have a bloody mouth, your stomach gonna hurt, all parts of your ass is gonna hurt because that nigga was punching with all this might in that song. Just saying. But the fact that this man so many rounds giving out it's like a Oprah scene you get around and you get around and you get around 
shorty on my line. I think she trying to smoke with me. She wanna see Jays, but I am not about the poetry. Stay mm. down, then spin the verses, that's the rotary. Co signed mm. by your favorite artist, check the notary. Fans mm. waiting for the next hit of the dopamine. Next mm. line international, see me overseas. They don't mm. know this thing, but my side is really known to sing. One on one, I saw what the hawk, I just want Joe to see. I don't mm. even talk about this stuff, it's just my older piece. Drama is like lifting in this bitch, you boys all know the team. Ain't even on stage, and I swear they always notice me. We're Oh uh, no, nah. they're going back. They, you know what they're doing? I feel like this is like if, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, right? And who, whether mayor or professor, if y'all hear this part, it's basically like this. If y'all watching this video, I want to know every single thing that I've been saying in this shit. Yeah, but for this specific thing, if y'all remember that there was Gojo, there was like a Gojo rap for me. Daddy fat snaps and peso Pete and then and then the way I heard Mayor and Kuro are doing it It's like you can say they're giving a little homage to what Peso and DPS did where they were going back and forth So if it is that fire, but at the end of the day Does it matter because when they started when it's like this when, when it comes to rap music when people go back and forth with lyrics it just adds a new fire element to it. I saw what the hawk, I just want Joe to see. I don't even talk about this stuff, it's just my older piece. Drop me like lifting in this bitch, you boys all know the team. Ain't even on stage, and I swear they always notice me. When we pull up, everybody gonna approach the team. Do it what's impossible, you swear my name was Hercules. New age Beatles by the time we get our roses see. Cross the dotted line, so why you mad at my peers? Sipping spotted cow stack and gives all my Maddie beers. Lucky and untouchable, I'm nerd chorus, Roman Pierce. Family incredible, we tie breaking all the tears. Feel like T.I. inspire y'all to get the numbers up if mm. you ain't improving then really you just fucking up staying in place can't be me i don't play double dust even when i slip i order bowl and hit the double clutch Ooh, with your rain chris move with you. virginia william shitting on the band clips too nigga got a lot of plans and they ain't including the only time i'm mad is when my ex get a new nigga cuz i'm Damn. petty just petty be key with me calm or am i steadily settling soon as i rhyme ah uh, nah you ain't finna just add on just this type of sauce now on it come on Come on, Mir. You just go. You just go add a sauce on it like that. You just go sauce it down on us like that, nigga. Anchor. Damn. <laughs> what you mean you gonna blame Curl? What did Curl do? Man, you crazy. Hey man, shout out to Mir, shout out to Curl, man. Curl, you need to look, man. I wanna know when's that next song yours. Cause you need to start dropping back more at least by weekly. Let me just say. But hey y'all, uh, shout out to Otaku Underworld, shout out to Luke. Like those two groups were involved from like Breaking Boy, Dripstick, Delta D's, Nikki Tracks, Zap B, D Kevin Bennett, Mir, and Professor Crow. All of y'all did y'all thing on this list, man. Y'all went crazy. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And to be honest, I feel like this was the most loudness or so. I could be wrong. But I feel like this is the most loudness and such that y'all heard from me and such, whether it be OBS or just came quarter. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. And if you made it this far, you're a real Humble Squad member, comment down below. So many rounds given out here, it's like an Oprah scene. If you can comment all that below, so many rounds given out here. It's like a Oprah scene. I'll give you a heart. But yeah, it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Wow! I don't know why I did that. Lego.